Hello, I'm Intrusive and welcome back to Besiege. We're still in 0.01 and I'm getting a lot of mileage out of this game. Um, one of the things that we never managed to quite create working was a, a ballista and I really want to make a ballista. I kind of think that ballistas are really cool and, you know, historically they had a lot of going for them, especially, you know, going all the way back to the Roman era when they were using, you know, simple onagers type catapult things. Ballistas were actually pretty damn cool and they were more complicated to make, they were more expensive, but they're pretty badass, especially considering the technology of the time. So, I want to try and make one. Um, where should we test it? We can test it in the sandbox or we can test it in actual level. Let's have a look at the sandbox just because we haven't loaded the sandbox up yet. So, hello there, Sandbox. Um, let's turn free build mode off so we can actually make this, like, so it'll actually pass the test. Oh, you can turn free build mode on and off, by the way, in any level. Problem is, if you've got it off... Um, yeah, if you've got free build mode off, i.e. you have limits, you can't progress in any of the levels. So you can create something awesome, but it's like, yeah, you can't level up from it. Which is a nice touch, I like that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to build a ballista and... Oh, come on. Come on. Play ball. Well, this can be very weird about how it's going up and down sometimes if I'm looking at it from odd angle. It's very much very jerky and it's going down occasionally, which is weird. Right. So, ballistas basically... Like, it's basically, like, a number of different ways of doing it. And normally you'd think about it in terms of a giant crossbow. So, effectively, you have these front arms which are made of a very, uh, a very, you know, strong but bendy wood... And then they all sort of bend and take the load, and then that releases. Now, in uh, Besiege, you don't really have that. Like, pieces don't really bend so much as break, like, balsa wood very quickly. But you can still use that to your advantage. But yeah, most of the strength from a, a crossbow or from, you know, a ballista like that would come from bending the front arms. Besiege, you can't bend the front arms. So instead... How far are we back? We're far enough back we are. Instead, you're going to have to come up with some sort of cunning plan. Now, my cunning plan involves using springs because, well, they're kind of the best thing. They look like a, a, a bit of string under pressure, but these springs actually are powered. They, they aren't passive, if that makes sense. It's kind of weird. I didn't expect springs to act like that, but they do in this game, so fair enough. Let's see. Um, right, I need to put an explosive bolt on. Then I need to put on... That, this is going to be a big surprise, like how I'm going to manage this. So, the big problem about how you can project a projectile in this is because the projectile has a lot of friction. So, in this, uh, we're not actually going to have a projectile touching anything. We're going to use a bomb because, well, you know, technically, if you're using a ballista, you'd be thinking, oh, it'd be firing arrows or whatever. Yeah, but arrows are also made of balsa wood in this because, you know, all wood in this is balsa wood. However, this is what I've gone for. We've got a grabber. The idea is that we can grab this. So, it'll be something like if we go down to reload speed. We grab the bomb. I mean, currently the fact that everything is flexing means we're going to grab it really high, but you get the idea. There we go, 2% speed. There we go. We grab the bomb. And then uh, we will, like, uh, we're going to crash into the ground in a second, but we'll have springs attached to this explosive bolt. We release the explosive bolt. And then the springs will pull it forwards and chuck it off the end. That's the idea. Explosion! Fire. Okay, so that kind of works in theory. And then they'll be needing, like, a lot of reinforcing. Because we are going to probably break this as we fire it. I don't mind if we break it as if we fire it. It's not as if you can really reload it. So, for getting it to rotate, I'm tempted to use uh, steering. What else is there? Um, I mean, we could use the steering hinge and be like, put the steering hinge like that. Problem is, these steering hinges are not strong in any shape or form. Like, they are awful. So, it's probably best to use a steering like this. The issue I have with these steering, um, I don't know what you call them, columns, I guess, is that one, you can't flip the angle of rotation. They're actually wanting to rotate different ways right now. I'll have to flip the key map for them. But also, if you go to key map and you want to, like, oh, okay, I'm gonna, you can't make them slower. So, this is gonna be, like, very juddery on the up down aiming. I kind of want to be able to get a bit more finesse, but I, unfortunately that's not really a choice. The other way I could do it is I could put it on a free rotation and then put a spring at the back and have the spring like slacken and tighten and have the free hinge. But I don't know if I could really lock that in any way. 
And now there are a couple other ways I could do it. I could put effectively those at the front turning an arm and the arm would push the thing up or down. But this is the only way really to do it from an actual driven hinge directly. Right, now, the one thing you got to remember is always got to fire this at really low speeds. Or at least you got to start at really low speeds and hold H as soon as it goes. So here we go. It's flexing backwards, I think. That's why it's starting to go up. And then hopefully it'll flex downwards. There we go. It's starting to flex downwards. We should grab the bomb about the middle. Come on. That's the sound of connection. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and it seems to be stuck out. Not that I mind that much. That's fine. Ooh, what is this sideways rotation we're getting? What? What? Physics glitch? Yeah, physics glitch. We're getting... A standing wave kind of motion, but there's no energy going into the system, so I don't see... Let's try tipping it. See if that'll help. Wow, that's oscillating a lot. That's going to make it really difficult to fire. Right. Let's try and get, you know, a lot of height on this. I want to see how far we can throw it, ideally. That'll get rid of the standing motion. Now let's put the car down. Car down. Okay, that'll do. Right. Now to fire it. We have to go down to reload speeds. We're still oscillating, which is going to be annoying for when we're firing. Okay. And then to fire it, you want to hold J and L immediately. So you are tensing while you've just, like, fired off the uh, the explosive bolt. Here we go. And then as soon as this gets to the point where it's going its high speed, you want to hold V. And V will detach the bomb, I believe, on the grabber. So here we go. I'm getting a bit of height on it. There we go. V, 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 V. So yeah, we have broken ourselves. Maybe some sort of strut on the front is needed there. Hey, we've broken ourselves less than I expected. Also, look at that oscillation. You've got this massive wave down the side. I think we'll have to strut the side somehow. Prevent those from happening. Okay, now, how far can we get this thing? I'm hoping past this. Like, if you remember our catapult, our catapult had a range of about here. The catapult wasn't very good. But it looks like we've already beaten the catapult. Let's go up to about 4% speed. Here we go. Do 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 Yeah, well that's that's beating the catapult already. I can't move the camera any further back. I think it's reached its asymptote. No, it's still going up. Seven percent speed. Bye bye bomb. Wow, that bomb is a long way away. I can't I can't actually go see it. It's too far. Oh my god. Yeah, I love this. This works perfectly. Uh the bomb is going in and out of my view distance. Like Disappear, back, disappear, back, disappear, back. Let's go up a little bit, see if it actually hits the ground. Boom! Yeah, that has some range! I love it, I love it, right, I want more of it. Um, What were the problems we had in it? Not that these were massive problems, it's already performing really, really well. These needed strutting better, okay. And we're locked out. Okay, right, cool. Fine. That's acceptable. I'm just tapping the button, by the way. Tapping backwards and forwards. And you see it's changing the angle massively. Hmm. Too much, but oh well. Let's see if we can destroy the windmill, actually. We need to aim down a lot for that. 200% and hopefully it'll sort itself out. Whoop. Frame rate. Probably still too high for the windmill. Did another sheep die? They really do like dying on that, don't they? Okay. Ready?
That looks good. You can almost fire this like a gun. It goes so fast. Go. Accelerating. It looks like we're going to be low rather than high this time coming off the front. Accelerating. Oh, no. We are going high. Yep. It's bending up slightly. Accelerating. And now we're going slower. So detach, 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 detach. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oh, is it going to be a miss? Oh my god, just slight miss. To be fair, that was pretty central. Uh, we just didn't compensate for side to side. Okay. We can, we can do this. We can compensate for side to side. Let us use forward, backwards. Tank controls are best. Okay, that's beautiful. Um, probably need to aim down again a little bit. Massive difference in... Ah, I wish they put a slider on that one. It is alpha. Like, you do have a slider for the wheels currently in terms of the wheel speed. But it'd be nice to have a, a slider for the uh, most joints as well. Let's try and get this. Come on. Frame rate. Frame rate. Okay. I need to get rid of the oscillations. That's why I'm going super fast. Touch. Light touch. Oh. You know, that probably would still be fine. I think we'll go with it like that. It probably... Ah, oh, there's a mine over there. Um, that'll be fine. We'll go with that. Okay. Right. So, down to like 2%. Fire. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. It's a very straight shot, though. I don't think it's going to clear the ramp. But it's a beautiful shot. Yeah, it's not going to clear the ramp. Hi, ramp. <laughs> Fire. Okay, we left high. We look to be on course. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. This blister works. Awesome. Should we go and use it in a level? 